Your assumptions are what is creating the hologram of space. The world, your 3D world that you're living in is being created by your internal assumptions and observations during those assumptions because the world you live in, the 3D world that you see outside of you is just a hologram. It's an illusion that is created, projected outwardly like a movie screen from outside of your eyes. And based on your assumptions that you have of that, of what you're experiencing, the beliefs and the things that you consent to be as true in your world is what you are experiencing of that hologram. So when you can take conscious control of your assumptions, your entire world changes because the hologram changes. What you're going to experience within that hologram or that high-tech simulated game is going to change based on that feeling state and from those assumptions and your concept of self. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is chapter five, the truth that sets you free. And I'm going to get deeper into that, guys, so you can truly understand that. That way we can really make some changes here. And that's what this chapter is about, is how to take conscious control of your assumptions, which ultimately changes the hologram in which you live. You experience a different portion of the hologram because it can change. The hologram, it's just a hologram, it's projected from outside of you, so you can actually change that once you take conscious control of that, because we're always making assumptions, there's nothing you can do to stop that, but you can take conscious control of what your assumptions are internally, and it changes that outside world because everything starts from within you. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started here. Love this chapter, it's going to change lives. The drama of life is a psychological one. Okay, so what he means by this a psychological world is everything is internal. So the like what I said, the world is projected from outside of you. So it's a psychological world is what we are living in right now. It's a psychological world. There is no outside world. There is no world outside the psychological world. It's just projected out and it's a hologram. It's not real. Anything that's real is within you. The God, God lives within you and it is your imagination that is projecting this screen of 3D world that you see. Okay, so right here, in which all conditions, circumstances, and entire and events of your life are brought to pass by your assumptions. So he's basically saying exactly what I just said. Everything, all the conditions, everything you're experiencing in your world right now is all brought to pass by your assumptions. Since your life is determined by your assumptions, you are forced, you have no choice but to recognize the fact that you are either a slave or a servant to your assumptions or the master of your assumptions. So that's what we're becoming here is the master of your assumptions. That's the key to creating the life that you want is becoming the master of what you're assuming constantly. And that's the change. The concept of self is where it all stems from. And, and that's where it is all created and, and dovetails out of. Okay. So to become the master of your assumptions is the key to undreamed of freedom and happiness. You attain this mastery right here, guys. You attain this mastery by deliberate conscious control of your imagination. So you have to take deliberate conscious control and take these steps that we're going over in these chapters and all the exercises that I give you. That is what's going to assist you in attaining this mastery to take deliberate conscious control of your imagination and then create the life that you want. So you determine your assumptions in this way. So Neville Goddard gives his own example here about imagine or visualizing, but I believe that you can affirm, you can script as all. I mean, this was back in the day before they really started getting into affirmations and things like that, I believe, you know, and scripting and things, but Neville Goddard wanted you to, to determine your assumptions in this way, which is form a mental image, a picture of the state desired of the person you want to be, concentrate your attention upon the feeling that you are already that person. Okay, so I feel like you can focus on the feeling and then it will create an image in your mind. If you can locate the feeling without, you know, without actually forcing the visualization, because I believe in the effortless way, and a Neville Goddard goes over this, but I believe that if you can just determine what feeling you would have had you already, you were living in the world that you want to live in and you did, and you come up with that feeling and then you persist in that feeling throughout the day you're always bringing your mind back taking conscious control of your mind and feeling that state as if everything is just the way that you want it then your mind automatically forms images and then those feelings are created back and forth like they they pinball each other and keep creating that conscious feel or that subconscious feeling that you're impregnating into the subconscious then it starts to create your outer world to this so form a mental image a picture of a state desired and then concentrate on that feeling that you are already that person 
So he's saying first visualize the picture in your concert, which is also another way that this absolutely works. If you're able to visualize, a lot of people say they can't visualize, but then feel yourself to be in that state as though it actually formed your surrounding world. Okay, so feel yourself to be in that state as though it actually formed your surrounding world. So you're thinking like, we, we are raised to believe that our outside world, the 3D world is actually real, and then we react to it. And then, then it becomes, we become the servant of our world instead of the master of our world because we're, ass, we're assuming that the world is real. So then we're reacting to it without understanding that the world is actually an illusion that's projected because we're living in a psychological world where everything's projected outwardly. And it's all created from within you psychologically by your assumptions. So when we can change that, then the outside world starts to change itself. Okay, so that's what he's saying here. Concentrate your attention upon the feeling that you already have that person. Visualize the picture in your concert. Then feel yourself to be in that state as though you actually for, it actually formed your surrounding world. So thinking backwards the way that you were actually trained, you switch the whole thing up. So we got to retrain our minds to think the proper way, which is not the 3D world created itself, but that we created it psychologically. And by your assumptions, that which was a mere mental image is changed into a seemingly solid reality. Okay, so that's what will happen. When you change the psychological world, the 3D world will, will change. It has no choice but to change because it's all stemmed from your assumptions in the psychological world, your observations of it projected outwardly. It will be changed into a seemingly solid reality. The great secret is a controlled imagination that have gone over this before guys is developing the controlled imagination that's why i got the leaf exercise that's what that does it starts to take you start you start to take control of your mind and your thoughts without letting anything enter like you're focusing on one thing without allowing anything to interrupt that that thought pattern in your imagination and the great secret the ultimate secret is a controlled imagination a well-sustained attention firmly and repeatedly focused on the object to be accomplished that's why that leaf exercise is so important because you're watching the leaf go back and forth and you're not allowing your mind to drift so you're staying you're, you're sustaining that attention firmly and repeatedly focused in that one direction and that trains your mind and then you once you develop that part of your mind you can switch off now and be like okay so i want a brand new car so i'm going to focus on that feeling okay boom i'm focusing on the feeling i'm imaging it i'm affirming it i'm scripting it I got the feeling, I found the feeling, now keep coming back to that feeling throughout the day and create that feeling like like consciously doing it, intentionally keep bringing that feeling back to you all day long and it's gonna happen. There's gonna be things that are gonna happen in your life and you're, it's gonna transform you and your world in order for you to get that car or that relationship or that amount of money or whatever you're trying to accomplish. But it all starts with that great secret which is a controlled imagination. It cannot be emphasized too much that by creating an ideal within your mental sphere, by assuming that you are already that ideal, you identify yourself with it and thereby transform yourself into its image. And that comes back to thinking from the ideal instead of thinking of the ideal. Every state is already there as mere possibilities as long as we think of them but as overpoweringly real when we think from them. So thinking of something is you're thinking, you're thinking logically, you're wondering how it's gonna happen, you can't believe that it's gonna happen. So it keeps you outside of the movie that you're creating, the image that you're creating. Like when you're visualizing your scene and you're trying to, trying to put yourself into the movie instead of watching it like on the outside, when you're thinking of it, you're thinking logically, you're thinking rationally, be like, okay, so I want to make a million dollars or a hundred or a hundred thousand dollars this month, but I'm only making 5,000 this month or less than that. So how am I going to do this? I don't, I don't believe that I could. So that keeps you outside of it. So you're thinking of it at that point. So when you, but when you start understanding that the hologram that you're living in, anything is possible by a radical change of the psychological um, part of your mind and your assumptions and your concept of self that's all being created from your out to your outside world then you no longer think logically the logic is out of the window because there is no logic in the hologram everything you've been trained to believe is now out of the window it's a wash it's all a wash now so everything you have to retrain your mind to think internally and that's what changes from thinking of it to from it because when you can you can separate yourself from the illusion 
you separate from the illusion that everything is real, then you can start thinking from it because you know you understand that everything is limitless. Like you, all you have to do is change your internal direction of your feeling states, and that changes the portion of consciousness that you do experience, and it changes the illusion. All right, so so thinking from the ideal instead of thinking of the ideal. Every state is already there as mere possibilities as long as we think of them. But as so everything's just a possibility. If you think of it, it's, you're thinking logical, but as overpoweringly real, when we think from it, that's when you create it. That's when you you are it. That's when you're being it because you don't get what you want in life. You get who you are in life. And when you start thinking from things, then you are it. You are actually you are assuming that identity of already having these things and that's when you're thinking from it you're not worried about how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen you just it's happened right now it's already happened so that's when you that's the difference between thinking of it and thinking from it and this was called by the ancient teacher subjection to the will of god this was called by the ancient teachers throughout the bible subjection to the will of god or resting in the lord and the only true test of resting in the lord is that all who do rest are inevitably transformed into the image of that in which they rest thinking from the wish fulfilled rest in it resting in the lord is thinking from the wish fulfilled okay so this is subjection to the will of god is resting in the lord and that is thinking from it and assuming the identity of the person that you want to be which ultimately changes your assumptions and your observations of the hologram that you're experiencing that ultimately changes and transforms your world itself <clears throat> excuse me the hologram of which you live in it changes when you can assume this feeling and persist in that and have that have that focus on the feeling and don't let any of the distractions from the world creep in and change that and don't let your mind drift away from that always have that boom 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 come back to it okay so you become according to your resigned will and your resigned will is your concept of yourself and all that you consent to and accept as true we went over this in the last chapter guys uh, i'll actually I'll, I'll put the playlist up at the end of this so if you haven't seen the chapters before this you can go back and check those out you assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled and continuing therein take upon yourself the results of that state not assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled you are ever free of the results that means that you're just gonna you're going to you're going to grow through like a natural evolutionary process if you don't take conscious control of the psychological world within you. You're just going to evolve slowly and just uh, and react to your 3D world as if it's real. But we are no longer doing that. We are learning to live psychologically and not letting our outside world dictate our feelings or our, our assumptions. So when something in your world is not the way that you want it, all you got to do is turn within because that's what created it is, this, is the, what your assumptions are. So there's no point in being like, oh, I'm upset about this happening in my life. Or I can't believe this person did this to me or that person did this to me. None of that is real. Every, the only thing that is real is internal in your psychological world you created everything that's happened to you in your outer world there's no finger to point it's an illusion everything is within you it's in the psychological world so if you have created something in your life that you don't like or somebody treated you bad or this happened or that happened it all came from your assumptions of your world so the way you're observing from your of, of your assumptions is what has created your world the way that it is so don't react to your world react to yourself because if something isn't the way you want it turn inwardly and change your assumptions of it and start changing you know your beliefs and everything you consent to as being true in your world and try to figure out why you wanted to be hurt because if somebody hurts you there's something within you that created that wanting to be hurt something to do with your concept of yourself and that's what we're changing okay so let's go ahead and move on here okay so when you understand that the redemptive function of imagination you hold in your hands the key to the solution of all your problems right there okay so you hold in your hands right now the key to the solution to all of your problems by thinking psychologically and not reacting to your 3d world every phase of your life is made by the exercise of your imagination every phase everything that happens to you is created by the exercise of your imagination 
Determined imagination alone is the means of your progress, of the fulfilling of your dreams. It is the beginning and end of all creating. All right, so it, that is it. The beginning and the end of all creating stems from within you in your imagination. The great secret is a controlled imagination and a well-sustained attention firmly and repeatedly focused on the feeling of the wish fulfilled until it fills the mind and crowds all other ideas out of the your consciousness out of your con the, the secret is a controlled imagination so when you can do the like the leaf exercise or something like that and you're able to get to 50 leaves without your mind drifting then you have that controlled imagination and you can create anything that you want in your life all you do is direct that power that you've created by doing that to your new feeling state so then you just determine what that feeling would be. Whatever you, you want to change in your world, you determine what that feeling would be if you no longer had that problem or you now were making the money that you wanted or you had the relationships that you wanted. You determine how you would feel if you already had that and then you use the power that you created doing that leaf exercise or developing the muscle of your mind. Then you consciously and deliberately take charge of your attention and you stay focused on that feeling and without letting anything interfere with that feeling state not reacting to your 3d world no matter what happens but we have to reset the old beliefs that you were that you were trained to believe and and just slowly reposition yourself to start thinking from it and no longer of it and imagining and sustaining the feeling of already having something without letting any distractions in and that's what we're gonna that's what we're learning here guys all right so what greater gifts could be given to you than, than to be told that the truth that will set you free, which is John 8, 32. The truth that sets you free is that you can experience in imagination what you desire to experience in reality. And by maintaining this experience in imagination, your desire will become an actuality. So basically what Neville Goddard really doesn't go over here, he just explains like how it works like what you can do but not really give exercises so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and give you the exercise of doing that leaf exercise you can find that you can actually find that course that i have on the the leaf exercise in neville book and you can find that link in the description below it's like a dollar 99 for the the monthly subscription but that you could there's there's nine courses in there you can take for $1.99. So sign up for that. It's in the link in the, the description below. Or I have videos, free videos, if you want to go back and find the leaf exercises that I have, you know, on the channel. So I go over that. You can find it for free. Or if you want to go ahead and have someone hold you accountable for doing the exercises or being accountable for yourself and following this leaf exercise to build your ability to concentrate, then go ahead. That link is in the description below. Sign up for that. So, okay. So, by maintaining this experience and imagination, your desire will become an actuality. You are limited only by your uncontrolled imagination and lack of attention. I'm gonna repeat this, this is so important. This is the biggest step you can take in developing your imagination and your ability to focus on a feeling state and create things into your life. You are limited only by your uncontrolled imagination and lack of attention to the feeling of your wish fulfilled and that's what this leaf extra that's what the all the courses that i have in neville book will develop your ability to have a controlled imagination and have the attention sustained on the feeling of your wish fulfilled once you develop this the sky is the limit you can create anything that you want into your life your whole world will change when the imagination is not controlled and the intention not steadied on the feeling of the wish fulfilled, then no amount of prayer or invocation will produce the desired effect. Okay, so if you don't learn how to concentrate and be able to focus on that feeling and sustain that feeling of the imagination on the feeling of your wish fulfilled, then no amount of prayer will produce your desired effect. Okay, so when you can call up at will whatsoever image you please when the forms of your imagination are as vivid to you as the forms of nature you are master of your fate that means you can change your world to however you want to live it by assuming a feeling and living without any distractions that that is not already taking place like if anything in your world is that tells you that this hasn't happened you don't react to that you just you just you're allowing your world to just transform itself into your psychological feeling state that you're you are sustaining and it will transform itself and create 
different people, different worlds, uh, different, um, you, you, it'll change your personality too. It'll change everything, okay? So you must stop spending your thoughts, your time and money. Everything in life must be an event. This is actually Neville Goddard's uh, wife at the time that actually came to him. And, and I think most of us already know this, but she came to him and said, I got it, I got it, I got it. You must stop spending your thoughts, your time and your money. Everything in life must be an investment. So think about this in everything you're doing throughout your day. So if you find yourself just like scrolling through TikTok or doing things that, that aren't contributing to your or contributing to that feeling state that you're trying to attain by having everything that you want, that means your mind has been, has been distracted from the outside. That means something is taking control of your mind. You need to pull it back and focus on the feeling and don't allow these mindless scrolling through TikTok and these other things that have nothing to do with your self-development, your education, building your brand or your business. Don't allow these things to take your attention from you allow take conscious control of your attention and that's what these courses do in neville book they will they will teach you how to do this by by focusing on one thing and not allowing any distractions so you'll catch yourself you'll learn to start catching yourself you like like tiktok you know it'll catch you you know it'll, it, they know exactly how to do that they have a lot they have a huge team that knows exactly how to gather your attention by all their analytics and everything so they know exactly what you want to see so it'll pop up and you'll just continue to scroll what this will do is allow you to take your attention back you'll be like no wait a minute okay i want to see that but no i'm not going to see that i'm i am focused on i'm investing in my new feeling state my imagination i'm taking total control of my psychological state in the feeling of the wish fulfilled guys and that's what neville goddard's wife is talking about here you must stop spending your thoughts your time and your money everything in life must be an investment all right this is actually my grandfather's favorite quote here by dr george w carry the new name my grandfather used to say this all the time to me and uh, i i actually memorized memorized this a long time ago visions of beauty and splendor forms of a long lost race sounds and faces and voices from the fourth dimension of space and on through the universe boundless our thoughts go lightning shod some call it imagination and others call it god all right guys i love you guys very much and i will see you guys in the next video